So I'll need you to make a wisdom check first to see how much you remember. Fourteen. Yep. Um, okay. So you remember perfectly four of the rituals. So you um, managed to get through the first four pretty easy, and uh, managed to do the prayers, the motions, um, and it's going all smoothly. <laughs> and the last two, I'm going to give you three options, and then you'll be able to deduce it. But you'll have to, uh, and if you do it wrong, then Ooh. You'll fail. Puzzle, right. puzzle, 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 puzzle. Okay, Reaction right. time now. So this is why I shouldn't stay up on calls with you. <laughs> <laughs> Till one, yeah. God damn All right. It. So uh, the first one is the prayer of the Oceana plane, which is a. Oh, I love it. I love Australia. Which is a and Australia. <laughs> yeah, it's Australia. No, it's a almost underwater. <laughs> fey. Sounds like Australian to me. Point. Oh so it is ruled by merfolk. Um, who are racist? <laughs> who are very racist. Yeah, uh, so you, you either have uh, there's you three rituals. You have the typical merfolk bell, which is like <laughs> that. You have the typical um, fey ritual of just like bowing your head for twenty seconds uh, and then standing up yeah. and like doing this because most fey have wings. So yeah, or you have the typical elvish ritual, which is with your hands crossed like that and then like that. I'm gonna go with the typical merfolk. Surprise. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Why would you pick that? Mm. But they went out, so the fey one on the is also very common because it's obviously a fey, fey point for the water. But yeah. yeah. Lovely. So you pass that one. Then the second one, you must set. You must work out the motto of the plane that you are currently on. So <sighs> you, the fey. Well, not the plane you're currently on. The fey wild. So it's either <coughs> equality and freedom for all. It's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not. Protect those that you love. Boris Swanson. Boris. Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Protect those that you love. Gina Patel. And grow as a community. Did she see me? <laughs> I have to exit in a certain direction. Yeah. <laughs> as I go to exit, I'll, I'll start running towards the exit. Yeah. But as I start running towards the exit, I kind of flick my wrist towards them. Flip your finger and just. <laughs> it, um, it like highlights the correct nice. answer for them in Good. the background. Lovely, that's very nice. So nice. Yeah. I know. So then you emerge into the final trial, which is the hunting trial and you emerge into this large sort of, this woods on the outside, but it's a large plane, and you can see seven different paths going off um, and tracks going down each one. Okay. 
make a survival check. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I like survival. What kind of music? Some weird dreamy, yeah. Some weird, yeah. some weird 16? music. Sixteen. That's enough. You know, um, yes. deer tracks. So you, uh, there's three paths. One on the the second, the fifth, and the seventh are um, the paths with deer tracks. Which one do you go down? I'll go down number five. Number five, straight down the middle. So you go down number five, and you follow these. Um, winding wooded parts where you can't really see it's like a maze um, okay. and then you um, hear the call of a deer and then a <laughs> that was awful <laughs> like the like a deer in pain um, which confuses you because you don't know how another deer like another hunter could have caught up because you were so far ahead yeah. um, so, so you uh, make a stealth check perhaps if I keep my dice um 24. Very nice. So you managed to sneak through the clearing, missing all the branches that might hi- like alert the person who's hunting the deer, hoping that you might be able to swoop in and be a kill stealer. Um, and you see yeah. a deer limp away and then a hammer poof, crash into its back. Um, and you see this red demon um, like standing over this deer's corpse. And he like almost he gets like a small knife, cuts into the deer and just starts eating at it. Oh, um, so then you, what do you do? My, Move all of a sudden it's thing. gone from like concentrating on the trials to almost like a snap back to reality for yeah. me. And all I do is just oh, stare straight down ready. to him and shout, Carlo! Yeah, and he turns and he goes, how do you know? <laughs> Fuck it. And he just, he runs up to you, almost teleports and touches your face. And then you... <laughs> You sink to yelling, goes, ah, this head will do nicely. And you see um, other hunters emerge into the clearing as this happens, and you feel a lack of control in your body as you just feel you, him like them, like stretch out their hands and then he starts tapping into them. Um, and <coughs> where is your bit? Just so I get this correct. There we go. Um, <coughs> so you and at the end, he's um, there are six, well, yeah, six bodies on the floor, all around you, covered in blood. And he goes, "Elves are so easy to kill, <laughs> even with that fey blessing magic. We could hide here forever, you and me." And then he um, he he kneels down, and you see a piece of paper, um, and you see that you are that you're not young. You are um, actually in the first age. He started the first age in the year of 16. You're nearly 2,000 years old. Well, Slay! And You're then, good for 2,000. Um, and then, <laughs> and then um, Kalos uh, gets up and goes, right, we need to get out of here. And then takes your body and you fade. And it fades to black. Ooh. Very well. Regis. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Character selected. Uh, hi. 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 How's it going? Very really often. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. So I have. Once a month, actually. Pardon? Once a month, actually. Oh. oh really? Yeah. Yeah. To be fair. <laughs> um, yeah. So he goes back to the keep, right? Yeah. To look at him. Yeah. Um, conscious of the fact that we might be, we might be getting caught. Yep. <clears throat> cool. So what do you do? So um, you emerge into the keep. You're in sort of. You're on the ground floor. So yeah. In, the centre of your like castle, I'd say keep it's more of a castle because yeah, that's yeah. elvish architecture. Yeah. Uh, and they have five portals there which you know lead to the different planes that your father has built connections, but there's ten um, portals because he's got five left to work out. Right, okay. Um, and then you've got, um, you're in a long corridor going to your right, then yeah. you know there's the one to the left, at least the kitchen, the dining hall and stuff yeah. like that. So and then going upstairs to your brother's Yeah, room. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use like the rooms and the I don't know what the name of them like the the belts the conveyor belts and stuff and the stuff that like the slaves and the maids use because mm-hmm. I know they're like not checking that because they don't really pay attention to them and that's the way like me and Fort looks like sneak out of things and we yeah. like a firework night already at 4.50 yeah 
Damn, that is really scary. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah. your dad running. So yeah, house. we use like the hubby holes and, and, and the kitchens and stuff to try walk yeah. through. And I know that uh, four of us probably would have tried to use like the yeah. kitchen or the. Or, like, and you can see like that, that there's a bit of mess left behind. Yeah. Um, so you uh, sneak on through. You start winding your way around. Mm -hmm. um, and you uh, hear your dad go, "Fortalus, Regis, where are you?" And then, um, yeah. So um, you hear crashing from just above you. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try find like Fortless like immediately. Yeah. So do you follow the noise or? No, no, no. well, no, because no, if that's not, if he's looking for Fortless, that means he's not with Fortless. I gotta yeah. find Fortless first. All right. So you keep going along, um, and you find the. Go and try find like Fortless because go right. away. He's probably not too close to crashing. Hopefully. All right. So uh, you find the um, the sort of hatch that leads into your room yeah. through the that you guys made. Um, yeah. With the help of the uh, maids and stuff. Yeah. Um. And you can see that it's a little bit lifted. So okay, yeah, I'm gonna go up there. All right, so you go up. Uh, you can't see him immediately. Okay. Um, but the door's shut. Yeah. Um, what do you do? Open the door. All right. Uh, as in, sorry, the door to the hallways shut. So the room, like, the hatch to get into the room was ajar. Yeah. The door to the hallway was. Oh, so he's in the room. I'm gonna have like a, a proper proper look. Yeah. All right. So um, like behind like, the curtain. Yeah, stuff. you check yeah, everywhere. Yeah. You. Like you're having fun with it still. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you hear a, <laughs> right. um, um, and uh, you open like the wardrobe and he's in there and he goes, "How oh, you found me?" So I'm gonna give him, like a really concerned look and be like, "Yeah." And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run into like the nearest like bathroom or anywhere there's water, right? Get like a flannel, mm -hmm. run it under boiling hot water, put Fortless in the bed and cover it on his head. So if Dad finds us, I'm gonna say that we missed lessons because Fortless yeah. will be sick and I have to look nice. after him. Uh, and your dad then does swiftly, <laughs> and he barges in, um, and he's uh, and he goes, "Where were you? You just, you just always, you, uh, oh, you're such disappointments. Why uh, is he ill again? I, uh, I've tried to tell you. I, f I think that your the pressure you're putting on him to attend is making him sicker. Um, oh, this thing again." We Umbuses don't get relief. We are pressured because we are leaders. That is what leaders are. I am trying to instill this so hard into you boys and you just never listen. In fact, I heard again that music was coming from this area. Who, who, who's playing the music again? And Fauntless goes, me, it was me. Uh, I, I've been taking up the harp. And he goes, oh, I'm fed up of you. And <laughs> smacks him very hard. Um, and like the your cloth that you put on it before, yeah so, yeah um and Fortless starts to cry um but he goes yeah it's me i just i can't i i just love music <sighs> if, if i hear it again you're gone removed and your brother will be the only umbus worthy of bearing our name umbus. Umbus. make sure your brother stays in check this is your last warning and um he then uh, he goes. If you don't attend every single lecture tomorrow, then I'll know. Don't think I won't. No more games. And see you at dinner. And then storms out. Right. I wish to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is really close. Though. <laughs> Maybe we do need a dad. <laughs> Flat dad. Apricot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna like try like. Tear, like make sure like, have a look at the, the mark on like Fortnite's face and make sure he's okay and then try like yeah. come for him um, he goes just just please brother just promise you won't leave me I can't do this without you Fortnite's I told you before we made us a pair because we're always going to be together you are that's all I needed to hear will you sleep in the same bed as me tonight I don't know brother it's kind of <laughs> <laughs> just come for me of course but we have to be careful because I generally think he is serious. If we if we if we if we get caught again, I don't. We've seen what he's done before. But I hate it. I know. I hate it. I'm not. We're not built for this. We're built for better things, kinder of things. I don't. Father has no mercy for us. That's true. If only mother was still around. Well, but she's. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna like put in, put in bed. Yeah. And then as you um leave to like put into bed, it yeah. fades to black for you as well. Uh -huh. Alright, Ogbo. Hmm. Where am I again? Oh, oh like the just, dock, um, trying to get on the boat. Yeah, sorry. Um, sorry, sorry. Um, actually, it's worth knowing. You obviously now know your age, and you now have a very vivid remembering of the 
key secret passages around Olenthal. Yeah, okay. Just also, you. how old am I before I left? Before we, uh, you know, the whole thing happened. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. So you were probably around seven, eight then. Right. You probably left when you were about 13? Yeah, so. I think it was, I think it was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 13, 14? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So a few years after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it got worse. Yeah. You remember. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, sorry, I'll wait. Back to you. So you're in a crowd of busy people, and your boat is being filled with people, and they keep like pushing people off and going, No, no more, we're leaving. I'm sorry. Well, actually, it's female. <laughs> well, no more, I'm sorry, we're leaving. No, There's... no, the original voice was canon. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, we're leaving. All right, I'm sorry. Like, I get it, but we're not from around here. We have no business saving you guys. Go see the other ships. And I was going to say, there was no one on that boat. Yeah. Right. Um, at least don't always think of going out for um, um, So what do you do? Is is the crowd too dense to like move through at any speed? I mean you could but you'd probably have a lot of pushback. Sort of like a, a very crowded club night when you try to get to the front pretty much. And the boat's literally about to leave. Yeah. Am I, am I near the water? Yep, you're near. The water's just to your right. Uh, people are being pushed into it. Um, close to it and um, all their stuff is falling out everywhere uh, it's a bit of pandemonium okay well I'm gonna sort of look at the crowd and just go fuck this <laughs> and just dive into the fucking water <laughs> and then just run along the bottom <laughs> towards the boat smart and also that keeps me out of view of like anyone who's looking yeah. for me which is good um, and then you so I assume uh, she's trying to find me so then how do you get out of the water well I can I can swim Oh, can you swim? Yeah. Oh, I thought you could I float. can swim a normal, like, swimming. Oh, okay. Thing. Nice. So then you sprint across the floor. <laughs> and yeah, I sprint across uh, the floor, and when I get to the, the boat... The fish, like, is parting your way, you're, like, with um, Liz Bass and um, <laughs> Fishy Sunak. And um, they're your favourite fish. And then... Um, That's the pace. Yeah. And then you reach, like, just before, and you have to try it. And as you, like, peek your head out of the water, um, you see a bunch of people are just above you. So to climb on, you're going to have to try and... I guess make a strength check? Okay. Because you need to get through, like, pull yourself so. up and not get knocked back down. Okay, yeah, sure. Sorry. I haven't had to look at this for a while. <laughs> um, that is 17. Nice, so you, yeah, that's able to do it. You managed to pull yourself. How do you do it, actually? You describe it. <laughs> Um, my my, so my turtle head kind of pokes out of the water and I just look at that. look at some people and they're all just busting <laughs> and then there's just this one guy who's a bit too close to the edge so I just grab the back of my shirt put him in the water <laughs> and then just take his place and then just stand there and just look around and he's looking sort of and his wife it. goes Jerry why did you do that and I go sorry <laughs> push my way towards the captain to show her my ticket yeah and you show her a ticket and go ah the one we were waiting for uh, Right, well, let's go. We need to go now. Oh, oh I am a teenage mutant ninja right, right now. Um, and he goes, she goes, well, come on, well, come on, come on. And she, like, helps you um, uh, get on. And you hear a guy go, oi, why can that turtle get on and we can't? Because I'm the teenage mutant ninja turtle. Like, the Do you know who I am? Did you pay for a ticket? <laughs> no. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was too accurate. Yeah, <laughs> wrecked, homie. Yeah, it's, 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 it just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're uh, you're on the boat. Do you have like three fingers because you're and on the boat. I'm sort of gonna try and blend into the thing at the far end of the boat. Yeah, and just kind of put my foot up and sit yeah. down and just. And as you see, you see um, members of the monastery come down and start pushing their way through, saying, "Hold the boat! Hold the boats! No one can leave the port just yet. It's all right. Everything's contained. Everything's all right." Ma Mistress Elowin just needs everyone to calm down. She'll explain everything. Just wait. And then they're like touching people and a little bit of magic's coming off and then the people are calming down and just sort of waiting. Right, I'm going to make eye contact with the captain and tell her. Man, I, I, I assume she's like, can see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on, babes. You know <laughs> Bibs, come I'm on, just, man. So, just like, mouth. Get behind on nature. Come on, babes. <laughs> And she goes, I agree, we need to go. No, but yeah, I'm going to walk one yeah. bit. Mouth out I know. Yeah. <laughs> what? A bit and, she goes, but, and one of the crew goes, maybe, maybe we should wait. I mean, we don't want to get shot down as we leave. Or shot down, chased down by the Armada as we leave. They can't stop us. 
go now. <laughs> you got to be careful because no one expects a Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I, as your commander, I come find us go. Oh wait, stop that boat! And they're like speeding through, making sure to tap as much as possible. Uh, and the sails go, and then one of the monks managed to jump on board. What do you do? And uh, touches one of the sailors, but um, he managed to shake it off almost. I shake it. Oh, yeah. I shake I'm gonna it. sort of sift my way through the crowd, but still be like, so that we can't Push see me. Stick going. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get as close as I can to the scene. Yeah, uh, make a stealth check. Oh, <laughs> uh, when you wear wigs. When will you wear wigs? Oh, that's only eleven. When will you wear wigs? <laughs> It's only 11 yeah. by, I'm in a massive crowd. Yeah. Well, you I know, am also a tall 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 But you have really beautiful hair in the wind. So yeah. it's oh, true, yeah. And, and he goes, L'Oreal. Actually, I can just give the London look. How close to You got a nat 20, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so I don't get very close no. at all. You can he, see me he from where I am. He goes, Total. Ogbo, come on. You know this is the right thing. Let us just. And he sticks out his hand. You can't truly believe in this. It's all about time we left. The place has fallen. It, it, the place hasn't fallen. It's been reborn. It's literally being pulled into the ground by a fucking chain. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the reborn. definition of falling, you idiot. It's being. Ogbo doesn't reborn. understand metaphors. <laughs> no, Ogbo is not actually that no. intelligent. And, anyway, <laughs> and then. Uh, well, he is, but he's just very. He just tall. doesn't yeah. understand what might have meant. He goes, This boat is hereby seized by the. It's monster. literally Drax. Is that Neil from It's literally like Drax. Drax. Yeah. <laughs> and he, yeah, he goes, He like. Puts a finger across his throat. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Uh, he goes, uh, This boat is seized by the monastery. All people, people are in our care now. <laughs> Please exit the boat. And the crowd starts to exit. What do you, what do, you do? I'm going to shower the captain to go, and the, the people don't matter. <laughs> you know the guy's on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's the only one on the boat. Yeah. I don't right, know the captain goes, leave. Oh, fuck it. And then <laughs> spins the I'm wheel. quite well respected. And the boat not. turns right and starts uh, going through the docks and then she quickly spins it left sending everyone flying make a strength check Jesus how much quick is she fucking pulling this rudder around very quick Jesus Woo. it looks that is very cool. nice yeah. that's it's enough really and you manage to grip hold of the rails and stay while the other monk flies like um, oh. into the side <coughs> off the boat nope still on the boat um, but he's um, unconscious as his head <laughs> backs onto the thing and then you head into open water what do you do uh, I'm gonna go over and push his unconscious body off the boat. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, he can swim. Yeah. <laughs> he can. Or if he wakes up. He's we're close <laughs> enough to the dodge that people story. can rescue him. Yeah. Have to. Maybe. <laughs> and then um, you uh, have your laptop right. back. Yeah. I believe you. <laughs> and then you see um, a dragonborn at like waiting at the top, and she um, just the stares. The boat or the dock? No, the dock. She I'm just gonna like put my head down and just be like. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know the outro. Jog <laughs> on, and, um, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> and you set sail for Halvia. Oko has outro music. <laughs> Oko has outro music. He does. All right, Vartuto. Oh, much more dramatic cut. Ten. As Vartuto, as I really dramatic man. Vartuto, please. You like Pokemon? I just think it's too funny. What do you do? <sighs> It was very in character for you. That's true. Oh, wow, my, this is mass, this is like my master struggling thing. against this guy. Yeah. He's not a drunk. And the Archmage is also struggling. Regis so. is. Okay. Regis is an eccentric man. He goes to the theatre. What are you doing, both of you? Stop! What do you mean, stop? Why are you trying to kill each other over European? nothing? I told you I didn't want to kill him, but you had to tell him that I wanted to exile him. Urgh. You said you were going to kill him! Dramatic. What did you expect me to do? What do you mean? We what said you'd only kill him if you didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you said you... But the yeah, fact the that fuck. you said you were going to kill him! <laughs> so I don't like that! <laughs> the Archman goes, We can still forgive you for this. Maybe. Forgive um, me? Well, this is days for a dead because you couldn't just keep your mouth shut and do what I told you to do. So you want me to... You of the... Of the... I know. <laughs> Inquisitive minds, you want me to just blindly follow? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm the Archmage. I was here for. I was placed here generations ago. That doesn't give you any 
It's way over in like people trying to answer the question. I was elected. <laughs> Keep being re-elected. <laughs> mm. It's a democracy. What is Stalin. this? Huh? Stalin, yeah. Not Stalin. This um, sounds Putin. suspicious. Yeah. Oh, you're about to get it. And he goes, <laughs> your master is messing with magic that no one should ever mess with. Please. Don't we say that about every magic? <laughs> that is fucking true. <laughs> that is true, yeah. But, um... You know what? You're, you're right. Let's all just be friends. No. He's like, Yes, not, there you go! Not, <laughs> not dark magic from Nina Chromacon! Just be spitting facts. And then he starts to wane, and you can see your master is pulling it back. Jakan, please! He's putting it back. You're much bigger than this. No. I was. But not now. I don't need you, Vatsujo. But now's your last chance. Help me, or I'll turn on you afterwards. His voice is a mutton much more hoarse and is almost no. like his whole arm is black <laughs> <laughs> he turns to four <laughs> no <laughs> we just <laughs> master what are you doing with the souls loving them no he goes um, <laughs> the souls are nothing to me I don't use them I just take them don't worry about it uh, I'll deal with the, the magic point in... he's lying Alex do I have any magic um, no. <laughs> Surely you have some. Well, you have some, yeah. I mean, you have your basic spells. You're a bitchy apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> man. Understandable. Even if I was a level one. in character. I was just thinking. I just had a thought. Can I just fucking leave? <laughs> yeah. Can I just... Can I walk in? Can I take the key and just go to the Archmage's court? <laughs> you can. They have a dragon eyes in there. Yeah. yeah. So so you, um, um, I don't know. You just... I'm gonna be like, you- <laughs> You're just like, fuck, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> you two. That's part of being a DM. <laughs> you both betray what you're supposed to embody. Kill each other. Huh? This is not- I, I betrayed no one. That's um, the Archmage. And he goes, I only do what I need to do. You betrayed me via talking about how you wish to suppress my intent for knowledge. And Master, you have betrayed me by abandoning the very tenets that you think that we should stand by and that well, I deem is impure. Tell, if you're not going to help, just fuck off. <laughs> okay then! <laughs> you're not my real dad. <laughs> I'm, go dad. I'm gonna run off and I'm gonna run and I'm gonna put the key and I'm gonna leave. All right, you, um, you make it into the Archmage's quarters. Um, and inside is an alchemical gold mine. It's got everything you've ever needed to um, study. And with the key, you can lock the door and lock yourself in there. It's like a little pocket realm. Shame this is oh, a dream. Oh, bro. Hmm? Shame this is a dream. I'm going to gonna lock it. <laughs> I'm going to lock it and then I'm just going to go sick and on these ingredients. Nice. And that is where you spend Dun. many years. Dun. Yes! As you, um, as you don't leave until you get bored of your isolation and run out of ingredients many years later. But you, you begin crafting your own stone in the hopes to Sounds good. to rectify your master, your master's plan. You have no idea how that fight panned out. I'm just going, I'm just, I'm just like, I feel like my mind is like shattered because I've never had a dream before, but it felt like what people describe oh, yeah, dreams dream. as <laughs> so i'm just i'm just like really like because it's some sort of illusion or something yeah. and i i i'm just assuming what yeah, it is in my head up, yeah. and i'm just thinking what is going on because i i sort of locked myself away because effectively my brain is just panicking because it's experiencing something it's never really experienced before yeah so because usually it's visions of other people or souls or something whereas this is like me and it's like my past so i'm like oh so I'm like, when I get into that room, even though I'm, ex I'm even though I'm really excited about all these uh, like alchemical ingredients, I'm also just like overwhelmed. I think I'm just gonna faint. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, and you literally fainted black because you faint. Yeah. Uh, yeah, literally. Imagine, imagine, right? How overloading it is. You've never had a dream in your life. Suddenly, this super vivid dream. You escape into this room of your wildest dreams, and then you just go. <laughs> And then you wake up I'm in the library. <laughs> no. um, am I allowed to? Finally, what are the rules? Am I allowed to just fall unconscious? <laughs> finally. Yeah. Hey, hey, morning. All right. Hey, so I'm, hey, I'm running hey, towards the door and it and and closed. I'm, I assume I'm yeah. being chased. Yeah. Uh, the guards are closed, you know. Um, 
have, so and but Cairo does come too. <sighs> Symmetrical. Uh, you saved me. I, I wouldn't say that yet. <laughs> and then he looks at the gate and he goes, oh, oh, shit. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're in a bit of a pickle. Get so much oh, real. Is it just guards mm. that have, mm. have come up to us? Yeah, it's just, you can Why see now? about 20 guards like, a whole lot. chasing after you. No grandmaster or anything. No, he's still dealing with Barristan. Um, and um, he goes, It's okay. You go. I can't. Unless we can open this gate. So, I'm going to set a timer, and you have <laughs> until that time to give me a sufficient solution. Ah, right. Sufficient solution for opening the gate. Got, got yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay. You really went, you're playing a fighter. Now do something the fighters can't do. Yeah, Solve yeah. a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's way too short, sorry. My phone's broken, I can't really see it. Okay, that'll do. All right, so. I hit it. Do do? So are there guards controlling the gate? You have two <laughs> guards on the top who have sealed it. And then you have 20 guards <laughs> closing up. in on it. With Cairo uh, and yourself. I'll shout to open the gate. No. <laughs> Open sesame. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> well, he tried. I tried. Yes, I'm going home. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what Fighter tries talking for the first time. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, make a persuasion check. Oh, okay. There's actually a, there's a name of Patrick. I've got okay. Open sesame. Yes, I can't. I'm pretty sure I don't have any bonuses. You probably have a negative. <laughs> <laughs> What's your charisma? Uh, ten. Yes, you got a negative. Yeah, yeah, same I mean, as my charisma. Ten. I understand. No, <laughs> you you're trying to escape. But you're a great. You're the only thing. Your gladiatorial fight's keeping the city afloat. We can't open this gate. I'm sorry, Ella. You'll forget this soon anyway. Well, make you float and down with the fishes. Yeah, these you know things. what they're doing, to the yeah, Swift, and that you, you just Thank you. you're willing to just sit idly by, or we're enslaved. Yep. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Look, being a city guard here, for working for him, it, we have to do some <laughs> bad things, but it's, it's all for our own self-interest, you know? Mm. Sorry. Where's the stand talking to? Hmm? He's on the ramparts. So he's on top. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not going to have to get up mm. there. So it's down with Cairo. I would, would frame him, but... You could try. I mean, how, how am I going to hurt him? He's on top of a... I'm a horse. Yeah, no, I can climb it's, the stairs and attack him, isn't he? <laughs> You'll send your dragonborn up to get him. I can throw Cairo up. Yep. Or just make him walk up the yeah. stairs as well. <laughs> <laughs> Open it or we'll throw Kyra like a spear. My Kyra up there. <laughs> <laughs> roll roll so intimidation. Then, that's, that's not very intimidating, what's that? I'll, I'll send Kyra up there. I'll send someone else <laughs> to attack you. <laughs> yeah. Probably gonna be zero again. No, I've got but if you roll another time, you'd be so confident. Three. Uh, okay. Twelve. Well, Twelve. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm actually just gonna lob Kyra. <laughs> Make a strength check. Honestly, based. Athletics. Athletics, fine. I, Twelve. Uh, <laughs> trying to throw Kyra. Smack. Okay. Fight, fight to try to do something that yeah. isn't hit. You. You throw Kyra, <laughs> <laughs> and he like clings to the side. He goes ah, <laughs> and he clings to the side, and he goes, "What do you want me to do?" <laughs> uh, fight him. Great! <laughs> okay. And he's gonna make a strength check. Uh, yeah. So he managed to pause himself up and um, he uh, he tries to fight the guards um, and he does manage to pull the. Um, he managed to overpower them because, you know, he's literally fighting in their city it's guards. Head head literally fighting the civil four. And then he. Uh, the 20 guards are pretty much right at you and then he manages to pull the lever. Ready to open the gate. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna go on the other side of the, uh, of the gate. And and Cairo is. I don't like signal for, <laughs> for Cairo to jump down. Uh, uh, this is how he leaves Cairo. Let me see. Uh, you'll have to. Make, I don't know what check that'd be. If Cairo, it? It'd be a Cairo check, wouldn't it? If Cairo's jumping. Yeah, if Cairo's jumping down, I'll try and catch him. Cairo check. <laughs> Cairo check time. time. Roll Cairo check. No, yeah, roll for Cairo, Cairo check. Roll for Cairo check. Cairo check. Alright. <laughs> um, he's going to make a strength check to see if he can break through because it's like. He needs to try and. One that yeah. one on the Cairo check. Yeah, okay, he fails. <laughs> Not a joke. Uh, no. um, I'll try. Can we do a drug uh, check? He manages to break through, um, but then he needs to jump onto your back, so I guess that would be. So you dex save to try and catch him? Yeah. Dex save or. Just dex just check. Yeah. Uh, that would be. 15? Yeah. 
15 as you speed out and he hits the floor. <laughs> I had to set the DC high, I'm sorry. <laughs> because you're speeding out, you're small, and he's jumping yeah. for a small gap. Um, and the guards managed to swarm him, but you managed to escape into the snow. Okay, that explains how. And then Cairo just looks up and goes, Hello, wait! But if you go back, you will. Why? Well, well, it's up to you. Uh, Redo this Having a thirty happened, so I mean, yeah. I guess I'm gonna go back and it's a fixed grab him. Point. You're gonna go back and grab him. Yeah, I'm gonna mess with your history. That's fine. Um, you go back and dra- you go back and grab him, and the guards swarm you too. Um, and make a strength check. I, I'm dead anyway. So yeah, I said no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get overpowered, Grandmaster. Yeah, I think so. You forget, and you wake up in your room again. Go through the whole same rigmarole. <laughs> but um, yeah, you go through this right. time. Kyra does make it in and he throws <laughs> him. Huh? This time. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. It's not funny when you have to repeat the joke. You kind of ruined it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you did. You did. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Christ. You get to the same point. I, I guess I'm just going to have to run. Yeah. I'm not allowed to change history. Correct. Fixed well, point. Dead. Kind of. Dead. He right. is fucking dead. He is fucking dead. She's a so fucking you, uh, dead bitch. Let me. Get my, uh, horse meat scandal. No. Horse meat scandal. That's you like to make some burgers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> for, Pizza burger. Oh, sorry. And as you uh, looked back, you see um, fire almost okay. taking over uh, oh, the old dog. Not again. Not again. Not another one. Beans and burger. Another one. Wait. Surely my not history is not correct. Surely this is not actually what happened. Beans and burger. Okay. Do. Maybe it just means your grandma's going to fight. What, the fight. flaming old one? Your, your grandmaster. Well, I don't know who, yeah, sure. I don't know who's going to fight. Beans and birds. Your grandmaster's now a lich. I had no knowledge anyway. Yeah. So. All right. So, as you, um, after you break through the illusion, the dog... Oh, am I done? Huh? Am I done? Oh yeah. Well, everyone, everyone got to explain like when they left, but I just was like, you're like, yeah, you don't leave because I was a little. You were a baby. I mean, you can do. But yeah, it's alright. It's happened now. <laughs> well, I, I mean, just be really angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know. Yeah, I thought yours was a cute family one. Yeah, it was cute. This, you know. Well, not cute actually. Quite yeah, yeah not cute. <laughs> I mean, I saw a cow get taken over. Yeah, he's my friend. Yeah, he got, he got back. You got loads of backstory. Yeah, just not the important parts. Fine. <laughs> so you, you wake up. It's our thirteenth birthday. Yeah, it's your thirteenth birthday. Yeah. You can just. Yeah. So uh, uh, we, yeah, we've we gone we've gone to the bed the night before, um, and it's probably a, probably a Friday evening. Uh, yeah, and we wake up and our birthday's on on the Saturday. But rather than waking up in our beds, um, in Fortless, uh, we wake up and our eyes are kind of adjusting into just like a sea of white. Uh, and we realised that for some reason we woke up in the, the, in the, the sea of pale white snow. And, um, uh, you know, we try to kind of get our bearings together. And uh, once we, you know, our, kind of we wake up, uh, we can kind of put two and two together. Uh, there's been rumours and whispers of, like, uh, other people in the family who failed to either be born with, with the magic or learn it. And sometimes they go missing or get disposed of. And we kind of clock and we're like, fuck. Like... This is it. Like, I that wasn't joking. Um, and, you know, hours turn into days. And we walk and we walk and we can't find anywhere. And it's so cold. And the sea goes on forever. And we do what we can to eat. We do what we can to get by. And it gets, like, our, you know, our, our, we, we can't find any more food. We can't keep ourselves warm anymore. And we think, you know, that's, we, we, we'll, we'll huddle up together in a cave. The fire starting to go out and our eyes are starting to close and we think like right this is it we're, we're going to sleep and we're not waking up um and yeah that's where, that's where we go our separate ways isn't it because i've really not spoke to him since yep and then you put him to sleep yeah lovely so then yeah um, so i died so did he <gasps> really fun Fires. so yeah. then um the dog spits you out <laughs> in a completely different part of hell mm. you can see that you're now um about so you were closer to TFL and now mm. you're around closer to Benadry. Um, and the dog just sits down, wags his tail and then what's that mouth do you think?